18 forecast with meteorologist Sarah McKenna. Weather from where you live. And good morning. We're continuing to see those clear conditions move into the area as the clouds move out. High pressure has been building in and it looks like it'll be here for the day today, but it's not going to last for too long. So try to get outside and enjoy the sunshine at least as much as possible before those cold temperatures really take effect. Take a look at what's going on across the region. You do see clearing conditions back through Peoria, Cedar Rapids, Madison, but a few snow showers still lingering through Fort Wayne, although most of this is radar feedback at the time. The clouds are still there. We're seeing them still down in Indy just a little bit as well. Temperature right now, 11 degrees here in Lafayette. Now, you are noticing it's a little bit warmer in Fort Wayne and even up into Lansing. That's because they still have that cloud cover there. And as we've talked before, clouds almost kind of act as a blanket to trap what little heat we have into the area. For us here in Lafayette, we don't have those clouds, so all that heat's able to escape. We'll warm up a little bit later on. Take a look at Cedar Rapids right now, 3 degrees. When you factor in the wind chill, though, they feel like negative 9 over there in Cedar Rapids. Fortunately for us here in Lafayette, we're not really seeing any wind, so our wind chill actually stays at 11 degrees. That wind makes all the difference in the world. Fortunately, today it doesn't look like we're going to see as windy conditions. You can see that high pressure building into place right now. Most of it will be diving down to the south, but since it's not going to be as windy, that also means it's not going to feel as cold. Yesterday, the wind speeds were about 20 to 25, gusting to 40 miles an hour, so it made it feel much cooler outside. Today, we're going to see a pretty calm wind, pretty calm conditions in the sky as well, as we're expecting to see a lot of sunshine. As we head into the overnight, though, those clouds are going to be increasing. You notice the snow's on its way as well. I expect the majority of those snow showers really to move in during the afternoon hours tomorrow. The snow then looks like it'll be sticking around pretty much throughout the day tomorrow. That cold front on the way also. That'll be moving through through the overnight as we go Wednesday into your day on Thursday. So expect to see a cool down from that. Also, these snow showers look like they're going to be sticking around. So that means for today, it looks like a bit more sunshine today. Not near as windy as what we have been. 24 degrees the high today. Not too bad, considering it's not going to be windy at least. Tonight, it looks like a few clouds are going to be increasing. The wind is going to remain calm, so that will help us out. The low still drops down to 17 degrees. Then as we go into your day on Wednesday, a cloudy day overall, but the snow will be moving in. That snow is expected to really start during the afternoon hours. Your high tomorrow, 30 degrees. Not too bad. The wind does pick up just a little bit, though. The rest of your seven-day forecast shows that we're expecting to see snow Wednesday and Thursday. We could see a few more flurries there on Friday. And finally, when the clouds leave, so does what little warmth we have. You can see there. 28 degrees the low on Thursday. We only get up to 33 there on Friday, Thursday, though. I think the temperature will be falling through the day. The weekend, five.